Hello, and welcome to the 111th edition of Beer Issues. My name is Matt Bruckert, and I'm coming to you live here from Casa de Bruckert with a nice, clean, new pool cave. Not clean, new, but freshly cleaned pool area. I just did some pressure washing today, so I'm rewarding myself with some really good beer today. Today, we're going to be having a great German uh, Weiss beer from Erdinger. It's the Erdinger Weiss beer. It is a Hefeweizen uh, or a Weiss beer. And th there is a distinction uh, between the two. They're really about the same, uh, but I have it on tap, which I'm very excited about. I will be having it from one of these fantastic Erdinger glasses with the gold etching and the gold etching here. We also have the uh, World Cup one here, uh, which is nice with uh, Russia on the front. And then we have another Erdinger over here, but we're just gonna use one because that's all we need. And we are pouring it on draft because we did stop and pick this up yesterday at Hollerbox in Sanford. So we have uh, this beer on uh, tap. So I'm going to go ahead and pour it and uh, we'll talk about the beer. Oh, what a beautiful beer. Oh, beautiful. So as you know, we've talked about this before, a Hefeweizen is a top fermented beer. Uh, so it gets actually, um, it matures in the bottle, okay? Uh, so this is not in the bottle, this is draft, so I'm assuming that it matures in the, in the keg. But as you can see, it's an unfiltered, so it's a little bit uh, hazy, cloudy, um, but great carbonation. You see the perfect, beautiful head and the rising bubbles on this great beer. Uh, I'm just so excited, I can't wait to drink it. Drink it. Now the weird thing about this beer, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you, it only rates in, in uh, Beer Spectator, um, 81 out of 100 is a good beer. I'm going to give it a much higher. I don't know if it's because I just really do like a good Hefeweizen, but to me, this is a perfect uh, example of a Weiss, a Weiss beer, okay? Although Weiss actually means white in, uh, in German. Um, so uh, the, um, the head's obviously white, but it is a yellow golden color, um, not white. Um, and then of course, a Hefeweizen is a yeast wheat. Um, what um, is the difference between a, a Weiss beer or Weiss beer and a Hefeweizen? Well, Hefeweizen uh, typically is more of an uh, Americanized uh, uh, version of a, a Weiss beer. Um, usually, a, they call it a Weiss beer. That means it's going to have that, the flavors of the, um, the banana and the clove as to where the other, the regular Hefeweizens, and a lot of times you'll hear Hefeweizen style or whatever in the U.S., and it doesn't typically have that um, banana and clove type flavor. Um, but when, in Germany, the, they call it a, a Weiss beer or a Hefeweizen. They're all, for the most part, are going to have more of a, uh, a banana, clove, coriander type flavor. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start drinking this because I love this beer. Ah, how stupendous is that? So the beer clocks in at 5.3% alcohol by volume. So it's a standard, you know, range for a wheat beer. Um, I do, when I smell it, so I get a little bit of the, the little bit of the clove, a little bit of the coriander, um, and I smell the wheat. It doesn't have a real strong scent, but when you drink it, you get a little bit more of that banana, maybe some orange, uh, coriander, clove. Um, I get all those when I taste it. Ah, I'll tell you, a nice wheat beer, when you've been working around the house all day, it is something special to behold. It is so delicious and so refreshing after a day of, you know, working outside, uh, pressure washing, doing whatever you might do, but sitting by the pool, having a little have a bison, it's a thing of beauty after a hard day's work. So make sure you check out the Erdinger Hefeweizen. And just so you know, the um, the place where I got this, the growler of this beer, is uh, Hollerbox up in Sanford, Florida. It's rated the number two, I believe, German restaurant in the United States. Excellent beer. Excellent food. You can't go wrong. I absolutely love the place. Another place we went to yesterday, and we're going to be sampling some beers also uh, that I grabbed while I was there, is uh, 
Buster's Bistro. If you're ever up in Sanford and you've never been to Buster's Bistro, you have missed out on life itself. What a fantastic place that is. It's a mainly all Belgian beer bar and they have the best Belgian beer selection. If you're a Belgian beer fan like I am, you gotta check it out. If you're a German beer fan, Hollerbox, actually both of the places are wonderful. Um, I, I, I can't live in Sanford because with those two places being so close, I would be there all day, every day because I love both places. So anyway, make sure you check it out um, and make sure you try the Erdinger, it's excellent. They also make a Dunkel, which is a dark wheat beer. Um, probably, I think Erdinger probably makes the best Dunkel uh, that I've had. Um, so make sure you check out Erdinger, they make some great beers. Um, and uh, make sure if you need any good beer issues gear, go to shop.beerissues.com and get t-shirts, hats, whatever you might like on there. And as my wife likes to say, I have beer issues.